And now I'd like to introduce the Eco Crate, which is essentially a limited functionality hybrid of your action object and your breed object. And what it does uh, is it acts like a breed object so that when um, you have uh, two parents give birth to an offspring, instead of raising a full breed, you can uh, res a one prim object that doesn't have any functionality to start with um, it just has the statistics of what the breed is so it connects to the database and gives you a new record for a new breed such as um, it creates a skin set so that you'll be able to determine what the skins are for it um, the gender it picks the name it basically creates the new breed um, at, at the uh, settings that you would receive if a new child breed was born. However, it doesn't start its lifespan, hunger, growth, or age. It just creates a, a, a box which can be an egg or a crate or a number of different things. So you have um, a, uh, a one prim object that can be taken into your inventory as a consumer and redistributed or hand out as gifts or whatever and it can um, be hatched or birthed later on at the uh, convenience of um, the, the, the breeder. So what we have is uh, to set it up we're going to need a male and a female that are going to um, mate for us and uh, basically I'm going to start this off with a, uh, I'm going to need a child uh, breed. So for this, um, I'm not. I guess I can set skins just so you can see what this is like. So we'll set the skins, and we'll make this a, a child breed. And once we get a breed available, I'll take that into my inventory, and now I'll create uh, the parent breeds just by setting this to auto activate true. So this will be our first generation breed that I'm creating now. And this will be our child. So I'll just name this child. As you can see I was doing this earlier too. So what we want to do is we're going to put the child inside the eco crate. And once it's in there we can now uh, I'll go through the settings real quick of the crate. Um, we want to make sure that it has the same channel as your breed objects and your action objects as well as the creator name. Um, the Whether or not you want to destroy unauthorized copies is up to you. And you can also determine how the object is um, how it's birthed. So you can either touch to open it or let it um, automatically um, hatch like if you wanted this to be an egg you can set this to false so that when it's resed it will birth the object but it also gives you the option of a countdown um, right now the way this is set um, it won't be birthed until I touch it the owner touches it and um, it'll do a countdown in in seconds so two seconds and it will after two seconds it will <clears throat> birth the object so you can have a longer um, period of time that allows it to um, hatch over a period of time once it's uh, created and you can add extensions to this to add kind of interaction such as you know like it to tell you something in chat or whatever um, to allow um, so that you know that it's going to birth after a period of time or whatever you want to do with this but as a simple example when this object is is resed out and it's a new uh, new birthed object I can touch it and in two seconds it will birth the the breed that uh, is defined um, from from the, uh, the the pair the breeding pair so uh, what we have here underneath is we have the hover text color as well as any undefined values that can um, what, what those are going to be called so if one of these are not defined such as a skin or you know anything else um, by default the you know the owner and generation gender all that information is already going to be as well as species is, is already defined um, and these are the different expressions that you can use within 
the hover text and um, I just put it all on a new line another way of looking at this would be such as you know using the next line and um, you know putting it in a, um, a more lateral position like that but um, that's uh, just how I like to have it set up so that's the the text it's going to show the species family owner name key gender generation the parents and the skin that it's going to have so that will all show up in hover text when the objects authenticated and born from the action object uh, then you have some similar settings that you'll find in a breed object these are used to create the breed and you don't need very many of them because you don't have to create very much information with the new breeds so you just have the name generator as well as different um, breed options such as to select the highest generation genders the odds of it being a female as well as the skins and um, from there we will just take this I like how it's saved um, I'll just take this a copy of this into my inventory and now I have the crated child so this is the, the the crate that we can now insert into the action object okay and this is pending how you want to set up your permissions and all as well it, it um, you can make all of the content in here no copy but the this object itself make sure that it's copyable and put it inside here and it will be a copyable object within the contents but once it's resed, anything uh, including the, the crate itself will be no copy. So that when it's created, there, you won't be able to make copies of it. So now that we have um, the, the action objects set up and we have breeding enabled, um, I'll just uh, create a few here so we have a uh, mating pair that can be used to create we have a female and a male now these two over a period of time uh, the next minute or so will uh, mate with each other and will birth a crated child object which I can touch and that will uh, res the uh, the full breed itself so now we just sit back and watch the uh, the magic happen between these two. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can go over in the next minute to uh, to show off this uh, this method. I mean, it's really simple to to set it all up. Um, so no, no, I'll just pause it and we'll get into that as soon as it reses. Okay, we had two child objects that were born and uh, so now I can just take this and and give it away to uh, my friend over there now he's got it so I'm pretending I'm one uh, one user and uh, this here is another user he reses out the box He clicks on this, and out pops our breed. It set and applies all of the the settings. And you'll have to ignore my yellow text here. I was, I'm doing a. This is just some uh, debug code that I have set in that uh, you won't see, but um, just so that I can uh, get the results of certain things, and everything looks fine. Um, the family, since I, as as this um, avatar hasn't defined his family yet, by default is undefined. But everything else, his age, uh, the gender, um, the name remain the same, the skin was applied, and this is the object. So, as it was once um, under the ownership of Dev Chaos, is now under the ownership of Eco Breeder, and it now shows that on the uh, on the website as well so I can always go on to here go into all breeds which is a um, is all the breeds that have been created under this account and um, I already forget what his name is his name is uh, Bebo 
So we can go into uh, the uh, FIBOS, FIBOS thing, and you'll see that its ownership is uh, Eco Breeder Resident, and that it's a second generation male with the uh, parents of, uh, if you can pronounce that, Eurys and Handy, right? And as you can see, that would be the uh, the names of these objects. I'm not floating them in hover text, but this would be the mother and the father. And uh, they're continuing to breed as well. And there's other ones. If I were to um, uh, re uh, birth one myself, it also um, destroys the package and reses the child and creates the object. So there's our, our Gilex. Now I'll just pay a little closer attention. This is Layox. Okay, funny names, right? and the skins will be yellow and it will be a male I just want to do this one more time so that you can see that it will be yellow Laox male so that's a male and you can see the name is correct so that's uh, just showing you that uh, how to set up the eco crate system so you can always just uh, you know take a crate into your inventory and have it for use later, store it, give it away, and, uh, and birth it at your own convenience. Alright, hope this helped.